Hey there, good to be back after a while. Got a uh, parcel from Everything Dinosaur. There's uh, three items in this. Well, you know what I'm gonna say. Well, that's tightly packaged. Okay, um, now. Hold on a second. Oh my goodness, they... They've given me four items, two of the same. Okay, aside from that, which one do we review? I'm going with this guy who, who calls himself Loader. Turns out everything dinosaur didn't make a mistake. It was me. I'd accidentally ordered two. Well, it's only three ninety nine. Can't complain. I'll give it to someone else. Alright, better be careful here. Did I tell you I hate blister packaging? into it. At least the fact files are intact. <laughs> Loader the Cryolophophosaurus. Nice. Here I present to you Cryolophophosaurus, known as the frozen crested lizard. Cryolophophosaurus was found in the Antarctica, that alludes to its name, frozen crested lizard. It lived around 194 to 188 million years ago, that's the uh, early Jurassic. The classification of Cryolophosaurus has been the subject of much debate. Initially it was assumed to have been a member of the Ceratosaurian group, and then a Tetanura. But it turns out it was more related to the uh, Avirostrums, that's the uh, bird-stouted uh, theropods. A near-related member, so more primitive along the lines. Cryolophosaurus has been uh, known from um, a partially complete skull, a few uh, vertebrate, some leg bones, and a few bits of rib and vertebrate. Not really much to go on. But with the uh, material they have, uh, we're able to uh, distinguish that skull had advanced features, while the uh, leg bones were uh, consistent with more primitive theropods, so either way, a unique animal. Most distinguishing feature of Cryolophosaurus is this uh, fan-shaped crest just above its head that runs horizontally as opposed to uh, vertically, as you see with most theropods. been given the name Elvisaurus on account of the pompadour like uh, shape of it. No doubt there would have been um, some sexual dimorphism. Press would have been uh, larger, more uh, brightly coloured in uh, males.
Size of Cryolophophosaurus has been estimated to be uh, 7 meters plus. However, the uh, specimen uh, uncovered was uh, actually a subadult, so uh, undoubtedly it would have grown larger. That would make it the largest theropod known from the early Jurassic. Never mind uh, Antarctica. During the early Jurassic, Antarctica was more closer to the equator. On the um, latitude of like um, northern Argentina. So that would have been uh, a nice uh, temperate climate with some seasonal fluctuations, but nothing near uh, polar. And um, paleobiota evidence has shown uh, that uh, Antarctica was uh, rather densely foliaged. So, why is a nice uh, environment for a theropod of its size? Let's take a look at this minifigure. It's fairly nicely detailed. Yeah, the crest is uh, prominent. It's got a um, it's got a lovely uh, leafy green uh, coloration to it, and a few flecks of uh, an orangey brown, some black stripes. The arms are nicely articulated. Slender legs, nice tail, and a little bit of a. Uh, it's a patterning here that indicates uh, plumage. Now we don't know if a Cryolophosaurus had a plumage, but uh, in temperate areas it may may be possible. But we don't know. Also, this model has a uh, nice base, like a leaf litter or something. I like crested theropods. And uh, although this was actually a large theropod and this uh, minifigure is underwhelming, I can let that rest because I've got plenty of minifigures of a uh, really large uh, theropod. Okay, international dinosaurs, let's welcome our guest from uh, Antarctica. Thanks again for watching. I'm really eager to uh, continue with this. And the weather's looking bright outside. I always feel optimistic this time of year. Okay, I'm going to go through uh, two of them. Should be uh, tomorrow and the day after. And at the weekend, I'm going to order something big for you lot. I can't wait. See ya.